2002, the European Union released the Ross Directive to restrict the use of six substances in electronics. In 2005, the Electronics Industries Alliance, Japan Green Procurement Survey Standardization Initiative, and the Joint Electronic Device Engineering Council published the Joint Industry Guide Material Composition Declaration for Electronic Products, known as JIG 101. Its purpose was to identify materials and substances requiring disclosure when used in electronic products. JIG 101 has now been superseded by IEC 62474. The Institute of Printed Circuits, or IPC, and its members created a data exchange standard to support not only the requirements of these two initiatives, but also those to come in the future. That standard is called IPC 1752. The IPC 1752 standard was created to establish a common reporting format for material declaration data exchange between supply chains, and to support bulk materials, components, printed circuit boards, sub-assemblies, and final products. IPC 1752 supports appendices which represent various lists taken from legal requirements, such as Ross and Reach, and other standard bodies like IEC 62474, plus the ability to create your own custom lists. IPC 1752 is the most widely adopted standard. The initial version of the standard included two PDF forms, 1752-1 and 1752-2, and a user guide, 1752-3. These PDF forms are out of date and no longer supported. The current standard, 1752-A, is in a format specified as Extensible Markup Language, or XML. It is supported by third-party solution providers who offer tools compatible with this standard. These tools allow users to create, change, and read this XML schema. There are four different classes within the 1752A standard. The first and most simple class is Class A. It provides an answer to a query. For example, the query could be ROS compliance, and the answer could be ROS compliant without exemption. The next class, Class B, provides a declaration for material groups. Material groups can be important for a variety of reasons. They may be requested for economical, environmental, or other reasons, and not just because of a regulation. After Class B, we naturally have Class C. Class C allows the company to declare if their product contains substances above or below thresholds for a given list or lists of substances. For example, a company could use the Class C declaration to identify the specific reach substances of very high concern above threshold within their product. Finally, we have Class D. The Class D declaration allows the reporting of substances at the homogeneous level. This allows companies to provide a full material disclosure of their products. Class D tends to be the class with the most uncertainty on what needs to be included. We will go into further detail in later training. At this time, 1752A is the most common standard, especially when exchanging data on full material disclosures within the supply chain. Therefore, the Ascent platform is fully compatible with the import, extraction, alteration and export of IPC 1752A formats.